Hi guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm going to give it just a couple minutes. <clears throat> still have a little throat thing going on but I was working and my eyes really just needed a break because this stupid thing is still hurting like crazy and I've honestly just been staring at my computer for a little too long so hey girl hi guys I'm so glad you're here so I decided that I'm making Wednesday officially Woo Woo Wednesday, and it is my goal to really just share with you guys a little bit more of my Woo Woo side, and um, that is a really big part of me, and I don't feel sometimes like I do a good enough job of sharing that with you guys. Um, I come from a really strict Baptist uh, childhood, so... Not that I wasn't supported, I had a fabulous childhood, but my um, my very religious upbringing sometimes overshadows my woo-woo side. And I've done a lot of work to overcome that, but sometimes it just puts my default to keeping it to myself. So I'm really, really trying, yay, I'm so glad you love this idea. I'm really, really trying to be a little bit more intentional with what I share and um, share it with you guys because you're my peeps. So today for Woo Woo Wednesday, I decided to take a little break and I kind of turned around. I have a bookcase right here in my office. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's got some of my favorite crystals and one of my vision boards over there, but I also have all of these, um, affirmation decks and affirmation decks are one of my absolute favorite things in this entire world anytime I see an affirmation deck I pick it up because um, I don't know they just they feel good to me I love to have them everywhere um, one of my biggest mentors when I was in massage school Leela she always had an affirmation deck somewhere in her office and one of my favorite things in the world was to just like take a break and go into our office and pick a card and I always knew that it was exactly what I needed to hear or see at that very moment so it's just kind of stayed with me through my whole life and I get I get chills right now just thinking about it so sometimes I'll take a little break and, and I'll just grab a deck that feels right um, or this is kind of funny. The last couple days I found actually these exact cards that I'm going to show you in the most random places throughout my house. So I found two in my bathroom closet. I found two in my nightstand. There was one in the drawer where I put like my yoga pants and I was, I'm the type of person that kind of just, my hair is driving me crazy guys. I kind of just accept that like, oh, I guess I needed to see that and not really think about how it got there because I don't know I believe in the woo-woo so <laughs> I I'm okay with that like I don't it's it's not really it doesn't matter how they got there right so finally Knox saw me like pick one up and he was like oh I put that there for you I thought that you would be so happy to find it and I just thought that that was completely divine that my son knows somehow inside of him that these cards make me happy and they they really lift me up and he took them from my office and just scattered them around the house as little surprises for me to find. So I thought that was really neat. So the ones that I want to share with you today, and I have literally like probably 20 of these decks, all kinds of different decks. These are called Ask and It Is Given cards, and they are from um, Esther and Jerry Hicks. So if you, if you don't know about Esther and Jerry Hicks, they are a little... Um, I don't even know what the right thing to say, but if you have not heard of them, you probably should look into them. Their story is really neat. So they're like this normal married couple, and then one day Esther is like, they don't use the word channeling. I'm not really sure what their deal is with that word, but they don't use the word channeling, but she's channeling this um, entity, and they named him Abraham. <laughs> so this is kind of their platform, their woo-woo platform on how they... Um, pass on these affirmations or these um, the knowledge that she receives from her higher power who they've named Abraham so sometimes you will see Esther and Jerry Hicks also named Abraham Hicks you'll see them inter interlaced but that's neither here nor there we're talking about these um, so 
they're, they're a pretty big deck. Brandy, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> they're a pretty big deck. And the way that I use these, this deck, everybody's different. Some people use them a little, a little differently, but, um, I always just come in and I, I go like this and I wait until I have a certain feeling and I, I, I can't even walk you through that. I don't know what it is. I just wait until I feel like that's the card that I need. And this one says, every reality has been focused by someone into being. So that's the front of the card. And then on the back of the card, it has like a little thing. And it says, you were taught to face reality before you knew you were creating reality. Do not face reality unless it is a reality you want to create. For any reality only exists because someone has focused it into being. Those st statistics about your experiences and others are not about any hard and fast now reality. So it's always a fun little thing to just kind of shift your mindset to the present moment and think, you know, I totally, this, this one for me, I totally choose what my reality is. And sometimes that's one of the things that people get caught up on with the law of attraction. So they're like, well, what if I want one thing and you want the other thing? And like, how does the universe figure that out? But it's really not up to us to figure that out. Our reality is what we make our reality. And every single person lives in their own reality. So you get to choose what it is you think about. You get to choose what it is that you bring into your personal reality. So that's my woo-woo for today. That is, um, again, that affirmation deck is called Ask and it is Given. And Esther and Jerry and Abraham Hicks have all kinds of um, books and guided meditations and um, these card decks and things like that. So as we go on with Woo Woo Wednesdays, I will be sharing a few more, yikes, a few more of my special decks with you, but I hope that, um, that little piece about reality spoke to someone today. Thank you guys for joining. I'll talk to you soon. Mwah.